One of the absolute best ways to scale your sales earning is by speeding up your sales cycle from finding your prospects, delivering value, and then getting the deal done. You know this, every salesperson knows this. But how often do you get hit with all these maybes and you know, I'll think about it when you're trying to close the deal. The problem here is that your buyers just don't feel any urgency. And I'm sorry to say that is on you. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at how you can fix your problem of urgency and the lack of it. Hi, my name is Will and I make Selling Simple. Now in today's video, we're gonna talk about urgency. First, we're gonna look at stalled prospects and why this is one of the biggest differences between sales performers who crush it year in, year out, make tons of money and, well, those sales reps that fall short hitting their targets each month. Then we're really gonna get into the heart of things by looking at my four favorite strategies for driving real deep-seated urgency in your prospects. These are the techniques that I personally use and the team over at Salesman.org use to turn stalled prospects into ready-to-buy clients. These techniques are gonna revolve around number one, understanding, two, naivety, three, speed, and then number four, the question, the only question you've ever got to ask to get deals done. All right, so let's get into it. First off, let's talk about what we call stalled prospects. Now, one of the key differences between a high-performing sales professional that crushes quota year in, year out, and, and those that don't, those that are just plodding along or those that are struggling, is the number of stalled deals in their sales pipelines. A potential customer is classified as stalled if you tried to close them and they haven't said yes or no yet. If they've not given you a clear response as to what's going on and they're up in the air, then these are a stalled prospect. And these stalled deals are going to kill your chances of hitting your sales target. And, and the four tips I'm just about to share with you are going to help you move them with some momentum through the process in increasing levels of urgency. Now, many low performing sales professionals waste their time trying to sell and close these stalled prospects. The fact is though, that once the momentum of the initial discovery call and the solution presentation has, has, has waned and everything starts to slow down, every week that goes by is lowering the chance of that potential prospect buying from you. So let me ask you this, how does your pipeline look? <laughs> have you even looked at your pipeline in the past six months or so? Do you have a bunch of stalled accounts in the, then this video and these tips are for you. So with all that said, let's look at the four tips to create urgency in sales so that your prospects don't get stuck in your pipeline and you can get more deals done quicker. First off is understanding. And so what you gotta do is really understand your potential customers' pain points. Because if your potential customers aren't in essentially extreme levels of pain, well, there's never gonna be any urgency to get a deal done. Now, typically there are three different types of pain points you should be looking out for when you're going through your discovering and your questioning process. First off, we've got productivity pain points, then process pain points, then financial pain points as well. And these are the real pain points that you can use to drive urgency and get deals done quicker. So let me give you a quick analogy here to explain what a real pain point is. Well, your lead doesn't buy a shovel because they need a shovel. They don't even buy a shovel because they need a hole, which is the, you know, the classic cliche sales analogy. Instead, their problem is much deeper, much deeper than that. Maybe they're trying to just bury a dead body that's currently in their closet and starting to smell and the, the wife is getting suspicious about what's going on there. This is the real pain point here. And obviously there is massive urgency here, but you just gotta go through these extra layers of depth to find that real pain. If you tried to sell these individual a shovel, they would not care about the features and benefits of the shovel. If you tried to sell them a whole digging service, well, they might be slightly more interested, but if you explained you could get that body from the closet and get it underground where no one's ever going to find it, then they wouldn't even ask what the price was. They would just jump at the chance to work with you. So you need to work out what the body is that your, your prospect's trying to bury so that you can sell them the tool or the real solution to solve this issue. Once you start doing this, the level of urgency in your conversations immediately is going to be 10 times higher. Now, the second strategy that I'm going to share resolves around naivety because you can't let the potential customer think that they can do all of this on their own. And this is a common issue that sales professionals run into during the sales process because they make it seem all far too easy to remove this pain for the potential customer. A lot of sales reps are guilty into shelling out just way too much free consulting advice throughout the sales process because they've been told and they've been trained that you've got to give all this value up front. Well, then the potential customer goes, okay, you've told me what I need to do. This sounds pretty simple. Maybe I can just do some of this myself. They start to believe that they are capable of solving all of these problems 
themselves. This of course leads to tons of sales in your pipeline that end up as stalled because they lack severe urgency because the prospect's going, well, I'm in pain, but I can probably solve this myself. I just need to read a book. I just need to speak to this person. I just need to get this sucker of a salesperson on the phone again to give me a few more tips so I can just get this done this weekend, next year, whenever it is, before it becomes really devastating. And this is no good for you to get deals done. So by all means, give advice. I want you to share industry insights. I want you to build your reputation as an expert throughout the entirety of the sales process, but keep your advice to more general industry trends only. Don't try and solve the entire issue for the potential customer on the phone before you get paid. Otherwise, you're never gonna get paid. Now, tip number three is a simple one, but it's incredibly powerful as well. You've gotta follow up quicker. Because one of the reasons that deals stall and urgency drops out the sales process is because people are just generally too slow with their follow-ups. So if you've got a sales call on Tuesday, don't give the potential customer a week to, to book that next call in with you. Instead, arrange the next call, the next step of the process, submitting the demo, doing whatever it is that you gotta do to get the deal done, do it on Wednesday, do it on Thursday instead. Most salespeople are so passive in their follow-up schedules because, well, they're just, they're just damn happy that uh, some sucker wants to speak to them at all. Whereas on the other hand, high-performing sales professionals are oversubscribed with potential customers and meetings because their prospecting at the top of the funnel is so effective. And so they need to get deals moving through the process as quick as possible. They've got to shrink the timeframes to get these deals done just so they can get through them all. And so if you think about it from that perspective, and that mindset, even if you aren't quite oversubscribed just yet because you're still working on your prospecting at the top of the funnel, you're gonna end up getting more deals through regardless. And even if you're not oversubscribed right now, this is the impression that you wanna leave on your potential customers because people wanna work with successful individuals. I wanna work with the specialist doctor who can just about fit me into his schedule this week to solve this pain that I've got rather than the generic random doctor who's going, yeah, I'll, I'll come and visit you. When, when, when's best for you? Hi everybody. Hi, Dr. Nick. And now we come to the final and probably the most important strategy for creating urgency, popping the question more often. And as crazy as it sounds, sometimes you just need to make this deal real. And that means attempting to close earlier in the sales process rather than adding layers of artificial urgency later on when the prospect hasn't closed themselves. Now we covered this in the closing workshop over in Salamain Simple Academy, but the basic gist of it here is that the sale can be closed with no pressure, no weird manipulation tactics, and basically zero chance of rejection by asking the following question. All you've got to do is say, hey, does it make sense to, and then what you want from the prospect? Does it make sense for you to sign up today? Does it make sense for you to get this implemented tomorrow? Does it make sense to relieve the pain points of your sales team underperforming, which I know is stressing you out by jumping on our salesman.org training platform? Let's carry on with this example. Let's say, hey, does it make sense to jump into Salesman Simple Academy where we help B2B salespeople and small business owners find and close more deals in the next 30 days or their money back? Well, the prospect, you, whoever we're dealing with here is either gonna say yes, in which case the deal is done. And we might have just saved ourselves weeks of demos back and forth, more calls by asking this closing question, maybe on the first phone call that we have. And if the prospect says no, that's absolutely fine. They're not ready yet, that's okay. So then we're gonna ask the follow-up question of what do we need to do to move this forward? And if you've built enough trust at this point in the conversation, the buyer will tell you exactly what you need to do you do whatever they say. Hey, well, I've got to speak to Jerry tomorrow and see if we've got budget for this. Okay, then you go back to question one. Does it make sense to book a call tomorrow after you spoke to Jerry to see if we can move this forward and get you signed up? Then they'll go, yes, it does make sense. If they say no again, you keep going around this feedback loop over and over and over until you've got the next date in the diary. In your diary, their diary, it's booked in and the sales process has been moved forward. That's all you've got to do. None of this fake urgency, no like, offer of fake discounts if they pay here or pay there. Forget all of that nonsense. It's obviously not real, it's fake. What isn't fake is progressing the sale forward in a simple step-by-step -step process by using this closing framework and just going, hey, at the end of every call, at the end of every Zoom meeting, at the end of every conversation demo that you have, hey, does it make sense to move on to this next step? Does it make sense to move on to this next step? So rather than you looking at your pipeline, looking at all these stalled deals and guessing at what you need to do to move them forward, let the prospect tell you there's a prescription. They will guide you as to what you need to do to get the deal done. And that's urgency coming from your prospect side of things that you just can't 
beat. So urgency, it's, it's a downright necessity, right? If you ever want to speed up your sales cycle. Remember this, one of the biggest differentiators between salespeople who are absolutely crushing it and those that are struggling is speed of deals moving through the sales pipeline. And there are four simple strategies to turn these stalled prospects into yeses and closed deals. First off, really understand your prospect's pain. Get to the real pain point here, not just the superficial ones. Number two, naivety. If your prospect thinks that they can get the job done on their own, then they're never gonna sign up to what you're selling. It's your job to show them why they're wrong and how they need you to solve this issue. Number three, speed. And this is dead simple, right? Just follow up quicker rather than giving them a week to get this next action booked in their diary to, to find Bob to get agreement on budget or whatever it is, give them a few hours, a few days instead. And then number four, you've got to ask the question, the only closing question they're ever going to need to ask. And that is, does it make sense to, and then whatever you want to do to move the deal forward. So stop settling for stalled prospects and use these four techniques to get your deals done quicker than ever before. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Why not click the video that's on the screen right now and continue making selling simple.